Hello everybody, this is a very sweaty stranger gamer back for the quarterfinal round of the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. And yes, the quarterfinal will all take place in this video, so we'll have four matches to go through. And at the end of this session, we will find out who our remaining four dinosaurs are. So without further ado, let's get on with the first match. I <laughs> forgot to plug my headphones in. Right, anyway, in the red corner, we've got Kentrosaurus. Kentrosaurus gave us shock win against the Cryo in the last 16 round. Well, he's only two wins away from winning the, winning it all. Well, that's that's the case for all these guys. Right, in the blue corner, we have got a Decreosaurus. Decreosaurus also fearing well in his in the last 16 round, defeating a secret dinosaur in a Patasaurus. That's something these two have in common. Ooh, I don't know who's going to win this. This is such an even contest. They're kind of e they are evenly matched, these two, so could go either way, which makes for an exciting quarterfinal. One. Ooh, Briss the Crayosaurus getting the crit. It's Aqua Whip in time. And the crit block is coming in as well. Yeah, boosh. Oh, look at the damage! I, I forget this dude is attack type. And because of that crit block, the Kreosaurus will be going for Skizzers. But Kentrosaurus will not. Is that lethal? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but look at this, a storming start from the, the Kreosaurus. Oh, it's Ocean Panic! Ocean Panic will finish the job and give the Kreosaurus a 1-0 lead. Is this Kentrosaurus all washed up? Splash! Well, it was very fast, wasn't it? The Kreosaurus dominating round one. But, let's not count Kentry out yet. He can still turn this around as we move on to round two. Right, Theo, round two. Will the Kentrosaurus actually get a hit in this match? Or will the Kreosaurus continue to dominate? Ooh, Kentro is getting the first hit. It's a mole attack. Good start from Kenty there. But the Decreosaurus responds with a hit of his own. Although it's not Aqua Whipping, so, you know, not too bad for the cat. Oh, the Decreosaurus, though, getting the next hit. Retake, taking the lead yet again. Kentrosaurus has not causing enough damage thus far. And I think that's probably going to lead to its downfall by the looks of this match. A tie with Ocean Panic will do it. Oh, nope, just a regular tie. And down goes Kentrosaurus. Didn't really put up much of a fight there. Decreosaurus dominating the match and advanced into the semi finals. As for Kentrosaurus, had a decent tournament, took out Cryolophosaurus, but in the end was just outmatched by Decreosaurus. Right, on to our second match. Right then, in the red corner, we got the Purple Predator. We got Sejuanosaurus, the dinosaur that probably doesn't exist anymore. But it exists in this game, and it is kicking some booty. Defeating Aloatrox in the first round, and just squeezing past Sign Raptor in the last 16 round to put his place in the quarter. But in the blue corner, we got the legacy dinosaur from the Jurassic period, the Camarasaurus pain in the ass because, well, he didn't want to take part, but has done well in this tournament so far. And one of these two is going to be in a semi-final match. So let's find out who. Uh, on paper, this is Sejuanosaurus's easiest match so far. Well, it resulted in winning. Well, so far with a slot like that, he might very well win. 
Sejuangasaurus, the only dinosaur left in this tournament now that can actually win too many tournaments. Since Armatus got knocked out. And the dinosaur that defeated Armatus? Kamarasaurus. Are you getting a tuku dive? Kama striking back. However, all his powers in the crypt. Tight. Kama's getting the next hit, the Namatuku dive, chipping away at Sezi's health. Boosh! Well, a promising start the, from the Sedge, but the Kama has turned it around. And I think that is going to be 1-0 one, one to the Kama. No Tuku dive because he didn't need it, and it's Kamarasaurus that's leading the match. Is Sejuangasaurus' run in this tournament coming to an end? Let's find out in round two. What timing for round two? Because I think it's just started to thunder outside. <laughs> the one who's just finished filling the pool up and now he's going to tip down. Oh, nature, you're so cruel sometimes. I only wanted a dip in the pool after I recorded. I, I don't know if the mic will pick up the thunder. Well, it probably will if it's super loud. That was a pretty intense bang. So yeah, I can't, I can't do nothing about the weather. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a tie. Another tie. Another tie. The tie fest so far. And it's Kama who strikes first. Not happening for Sejuangasaurus so far. Huh. Interesting. We weren't supposed to have thunder today. Oh well. Give it a tie. I'll probably wait for it to pass before starting the next match. Sejuangasaurus getting the next hit though. He's not done yet. Well, it's all or nothing for Seji now. He needs the next hit to survive in this tournament. And all Kama needs is one hit to win this match. Oh, the Seji's done it! He has equalized with a Dino Yidage. Well, you know what this means, don't you? It's all going to come down to this deciding round. So I'll wait for the victory animations to finish and we will get on with that deciding round. Alright, I think the thunder has subsided a little bit, as has the rain, so we will get on back on with this deciding round. Oh, oops, I forgot to swipe sad. <laughs> Never mind. Which one of these two has enough fuel left in the tank to take home the win? Will it be Sejuangasaurus or will it be the Cam? Ooh, Cam again the first hit again. Not a crit though. He really wants a crit to be honest. But the Tuku Dive will do its damage. Okay, not too bad that is. And the Futaba Cannon has been triggered. Oh, and the Futaba Cannon has been activated. And with the Tuku Dive to come, could this be lethal? Azorus almost defeated. Well, I think the camera's gonna win this one. Oh, maybe not. Sejuangasaurus not done yet. Can he do it? Can he turn this around to win? Uh, no. <laughs> and the camera gets a crit when he need, doesn't need it. I know he's got Dino Geekage too. Sejuangasaurus put up a valiant fight, but it's getting yeeted out of the tournament by the camera. And it was Kamarasaurus, the pain in the ass, advancing to the semi-finals. Ooh, 
Ooh, well, Sejuanosaurus' little journey ends. His hopes of winning two, being the first dinosaur to win too many tournaments has ended. And we are, we'll have, in fact, a new winner. Right, let's get on with our third quarterfinal matchup of this session then, shall we? Okie dokie then, in the red corner, we got Satyosaurus. Wow, no, there's a lot of war dinosaurs still left in this tournament. I only just noticed that. Well, Kamarasaurus has already gone through. The, the Kreosaurus has gone through. And, well, this matchup involves two water dinosaurs, so whatever happens here, a water dinosaur is going to get through. Right, in the blue corner, we have Big Bad Brontekins. The tournament hotshot, the favourite, still in it. But can he win it? This might be his toughest match yet. Although, the Camthosaurus definitely gave him a right good scare, so... I have mm, hope for Satyosaurus, it can do something. <laughs> and I think the last matchup doesn't involve any water dinosaurs. Mm. Well, it's Satyosaurus landing the first blow. Not much of a blow, but it's a blow nonetheless. Oh, as a crit, it's a tragic sphere. This is going to be an even bigger blow. Brontekin's going to get wet. Attack burst coming in there. Don't think that's going to matter much now. Ooh, but the Brontekins gets the next hit. And this recovery time. Going to heal up most of our damage from the Tragic Sphere. So attack burst is going to help. Ooh, Brontekin getting a crit after a slow start. Brontekins has turned it around. That's it, big bad Brontekins, you can't count him out. Boosh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Brontekins getting the next hit. Is it lethal? Indeed it's not. But Brontekins now in the driving seat as a tie will be enough to finish the job. And I think it can even tank this hit, because Satyosaurus is a... Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> well, the odds were against it, but Satyosaurus has taken the lead. Are we in for a shock? Is Brontekin's time in this tournament coming to an end? Right then, round two between these two. Can the walking whale make it 2-0 and stun Brontekin's, or will Brontekin's fight back? Well, technically, he put up a good fight in the first round and was on top, but Satyosaurus did luck out and get that hit, which gives him the 1-0 lead, which he has now. Ooh, but this time it's Brontekin starting on the front foot with a crit. Oh, Satyosaurus striking back, but, well, it won't do as much damage as that crit did. Ooh, ooh, we got a bit of Trodon action. It's move block. This could help Satyosaurus here. Although I think a, a Tragic Sphere might actually be enough to win the match right now. Ooh, he's going for it, he's going for it. Oh, but he didn't get it. Brontekins escapes that tragedy there. Oh, the move block is still in effect. Another tie. Well, normally Ocean Panic would be a factor, but not this time. I don't think we're ever going to see the special armor, honestly. Well, there goes Satyosaurus. Almost did it, but Brontekins leveling things up to make things a bit more interesting. As we move on to, yes, you guessed it, the deciding round. Right, our deciding round between these two. Satyosaurus has certainly put up a fight against Brontekins, but Brontekins did gain a little bit of momentum in that last round. And can he carry it on into this map? The winner will face the Kreosaurus in the semis, and actually, now that I think about it, we are guaranteed to have a water dinosaur in the final. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's two water dinosaurs in the finale. 
But unfortunately for these two water dinosaurs, only one of them can, will make it to the final. <laughs> and at this rate, it looks like it's going to be Brontekin. Oh yeah, Brontekin dominating so far, leaving the Satyrosaurus on the brink of defeat. Ooh, but Satyrosaurus is not done yet. How crucial could this tragic sphere be? Boosh! Attack burst to come as well. One tragedy of the sphere will win the match for Satyrosaurus. But he doesn't go for it. Wise decision there as he does get the next hit. Brontekins hasn't won this yet. And all of a sudden, both of our combats on the brink of defeat and on the brink of winning as well. Oh, but it's Brontekins yet again, clinging on, knocking out the hopeful and advancing to the semi-finals. Maybe is this Brontekins' tournament? It just might be. Knocking out Satyosaurus, who in fairness put up a really good fight. But it's Brontekins advancing to the semis. Right, let's move on to our final matchup of this quarterfinal round, shall we? Which, ironically, doesn't fe feature a water dinosaur. Well then, in the red corner, in the Alpha Arena, we got the Sorofagonax. The last fire dinosaur standing in this tournament. And practically the only fire dinosaur in this tournament that has done decently well. In the blue corner, the last earth dinosaur standing now is the Lexobosaurus. Can Lex, well, obviously, if Sorofagonax wins this match and goes through, then probably a water dinosaur is going to win this tournament. Like, I, ironically, I think Lex Oversaurus has a better chance of winning the tournament than Sorofagonax. But in this matchup, I think Sorofagonax is probably going to win. But based on the fact that all the other remaining combatants are water dinosaurs, I feel like Lexophosaurus has a better chance of winning overall. But he's got to get past this big brute first. Ooh, and that's not going to happen when he gets off Magma Blasters. Boosh. Not with that much power. Power is what the game is all about. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Lexophosaurus proving that. Oh, look at it, chipping away at his health. Oh, oh well, it's dead. <laughs> two Magma Blasters in a... Well, not in a row, but two Magma Blasters. Enough to dispatch Lex Oversaurus. And give Sorofaganax a 1-0 lead. Right, let's get on with round two, shall we? Right then, round two, will Sorofagonax continue to scorch, or can Lexosaurus show a bit more resilience than it did in the first match? I should also point out that Sorofagonax is the only fire dinosaur in this tournament that actually won a match. All the others got knocked out in round one. Of course, in the fairness to Yangchungosaurus, it did have to face Sorofagonax. But anyway, back to this match, and Lexovasaurus starting strong with a sand trap. You know what that means? Ties are going to heavily favour Lexi now. Could that be what he needs to get back in this contest? Another tie. Oh, look at the difference there. Sand trap making an impact. Ooh, is this lethal? This could be lethal. Oh, it's going to be the Giga Rock Hammer is going to make sure it's lethal. Lexovasaurus even in the score. Well played by Lexi. Sorofagonax didn't really get going there. Right, you know what this means? It all comes down to this deciding round. Oh, okie dokie then, the deciding round between these two for that last remaining semi-final spot. Who will get it? Will it be Sorofagonax or will it be Lexi? Go on, then! 
and his Lex Silver Swords land in the first blow. Not much of a blow, but a blow nonetheless. Oh, that's a tie. We don't sand trap this time though. But Lexi does get the next hit. And the Giga Rock Hammer. Lex over Saurus off to a strong start. But let's not forget, this Soro Fragonax does pack a severe punch. So like one hit from this Soro Fragonax and you'll probably take the lead. But he's struggling to get the hit. Is this the end of the Lizard Eating Master? Oh, look at it clinging on. He just can't get a hit. And it's over. Lexi dispatching the Sorrow Fagonax to advance to the semi finals. And does Lexovasaurus have a chance of winning this tournament? You never know, it might. Right, let's have a look at our semi final lineup and end the session. Well, we have an interesting semi final lineup here because we have three water dinosaurs and one earth dinosaur, which is probably not what I was expecting. Of course. The water dinosaurs do have the slight advantage that there is no lightning dinosaurs in this tournament. I suppose you could say with the earth dinosaurs there's no grass dinosaurs, except for Camptosaurus who was already out. You know, with the fire and the wind dinosaurs they, they have possible type disadvantages to deal with, whereas the water dinosaurs don't. But yeah, very intriguing semi-final lineup. We've got Decreosaurus going up against Brontokins. And Kamarasaurus taking on Lexovasaurus. And I actually notice that Kamarasaurus has actually defeated all Earth dinosaurs so far. So Lexi's better watch out. And yeah, that is our lineup for the semi-final, folks. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Do whatever you want to do. Ding the bell. Make sure you don't miss out on said semi-final. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.